I went back and I followed through with that Apivar resistant test that I was performing. And I obviously did something wrong because everything was dead. I think I misread the amount of product to put inside the canister. So I counted, there's all the dead bees and I counted 37 dead mites. A tremendous amount of mite count. So I'm thinking, well, I should redo that damn test, but I'm not gonna bother. I'm too busy, I'm a farmer, too busy trying to figure things out. And this is a prime example why beekeepers need support services to help us find correct information. Here I am with all these questions, trying to determine what I'm seeing, and then trying to collect that information by running tests and trials. I'm too busy, I'm not paying attention, I'm not reading the protocols properly because I'm just skimming the damn page. So I put together some trial I end up getting information that's no use to me because I did it wrong, right? When we have something going on within an apiary, like what I have going on here, just like psh, 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 problems just scattered throughout. Why am I seeing under 1% for the most of my apiary, but every once in a while a colony will crash to 20% or more mite loads? Why am I seeing that sporadic efficacy? It's not acceptable. So I have these questions that I have to have answered. I'm trying to answer them myself and I can't, right? So I'm reaching out to the tech transfer program and I'm having, I'm gonna take them four colonies, one with 20%, one with 16%, one with 12% and one with 5% might counts just colonies that I've identified throughout the apiary as they are crashing. And I take those colonies into the University of Manitoba and have the tech transfer program conduct an app of our resistance test next week just to verify what I'm seeing. Am I seeing ineffective um, mite treatment? Or is there something else going on that I'm not seeing? So first of all, I gotta figure out whether or not the treatment's working or not, or the efficacy of the treatment and then I'll go from there. Uh, but I'm just getting tired of inconsistent information, so I need to confirm what I'm seeing uh, with a reliable, verifiable, professional opinion. Sandy and I were out at a social Saturday night, and I spent all Sunday on the field tractor. So, with a clearer mind, I think I'm going to reassess I'm gonna try that resistant test again, just to see if I can make it work. I'm going to sample from a different colony. This one here sampled 20% on me. So I'm gonna take another sample and then I'm gonna take a live bee sample and I'm just gonna see what happens with that. Then I'm gonna follow through and pick up the four sticky boards I put out just to see what kind of mite drop we're seeing with the oxalic acid. I'll get these bees inside the warm honey house right away. This time I have my strip as prescribed. So not as much product this time. We'll see what happens. 
But uh, what I'll do is measure this in four hours to see how much drop we have. And then I'm gonna do the same in about 12 hours and then 24 hours. I was told with this dish detergent that I'm shaking too hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's counting roughly three to four percent. That's a long ways away from the 20% I pulled from that colony earlier. Inconsistency just drives me absolutely bonkers. Okay, let's go pull some sticky boards. This colony did not shake any mites. Let's do a count. It's been, this was treated on, on Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday. So two and a half days after my oxalic acid treatment. And it shook zero mites. And we have mites. So what do we have here? I'm gonna take a good look at this back in the office, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I'm gonna quit counting. So that colony shook zero. Looks like that oxalic acid dropped some mites. That is really positive. Let's just identify that. Zero percent hive. Okay, this is number seven. This one was the highest of the counts in the program. I think it was 5% when I shook. I'll have to check back in the notes. mites in the bottom and number eight here this one didn't show as many mites but it's still I think it was a two percent Some mites. So what's my objective with the sticky boards? Just to see if the oxalic acid is dropping mites. So I'm looking at the sticky board that we uh, that I had. I think the infestation, according to my wash, was two-ish percent. No, 1.3%. And I'll just quickly go through and I'm going to count the mites here. This colony, I counted 75 mites on the sticky board. And that's really good. That's telling me the oxalic acid has worked. So if I'm going to do some simple math on that, uh, just working on averages, round it up to 100. 
let's say, and if there's 15 to 20,000 bees in there, knock off some zeros. So it probably, that's probably not half a percent. And if the infestation was 1.3, so that's gone, that's helped. Let's look at the next one here, number seven. And this infestation, I believe, was, uh, what was it? So this was over my threshold of two. I'll just quickly do a count. This, this hive had a higher mite count according to my washes. So I'm looking at 53 mites here. I would have assumed the mite drop would have been higher on the hive with the higher mite count. I don't know. Nice to see the dead mites though. <clears throat> Okay, so this hive was a hive that washed a zero. Okay, that sticky board counted 122. And there's the wash that washed a zero. It's good to see the mites dropping, the very least. But that information, that's about as far as that information has given me. That, that there's not, there's so much inconsistency here. I'm not making any sense of anything. I thought for sure there would have been a, a little more of a relationship between my washes and my oxalic acid mite drop. It's only been two and a half days, so I should really keep them in. A little bit longer to see what my continual drop is. Maybe I should. Just for shits and giggles. <clears throat> I can clear up all these little buggers. Ah, fuck it. I have one more hive. We just treated yesterday, so it's only going to be... 12 hours and it's the one I forgot to treat with Apivar so I'm going to pull that one and I'm going to see what the drop is on it. This is the colony that I forgot to treat and it was testing over 5% mite counts. I think it was 8 mites in the sample or whatever. So it's been 12 hours since we dropped some ox, since we vaporized some oxalic into them. I'll just quickly do a count before I put it back in. Not seeing any mites. One, one mite. So that's one mite after roughly 12 hours. I would assume there would be more. We'll see after a couple days if there's more mites that drop. I imagine it takes a little while for the mites to, uh, to die from the exposure of the oxalic. Well, they're all alive. One, 
two, three mites. Oh, oh, oh. More inconsistent data from my testing. So I took a resistance test from a colony that I previously tested 20%. And before I took the live sample, I did a wash and it was testing between the four to 5%. The criteria is you need over 5% for the test to work but I had four to five percent. Okay, so I'm gonna follow through. So I followed through with the 24 hour uh, mite drop test. Um, the four hour dropped one dead mite, and in 24 hours, it the total was four dead mites. I did the wash, and I only washed one mite off. Okay, so that shows efficacy, except when I put it all together, there's 300, like I counted them out, well, counted and weighed them to get an approximation of 375 bees. So with four mites on 375 bees, that's only 1.3% mite infestation. And the treatment knocked off the percent. So I was left with one mite in here, which meant that's about a quarter percent that the treatment didn't take care of. So that tells me the apivar was working, except the colony I sampled from didn't meet the threshold for the amount of mites within it. So it's got me absolutely, you know, standing on my head. I had like a, when I washed this, you know, I just did a little bit here, but I washed the mites very thoroughly and I screened them and I sifted them and everything to make sure that I got the mites off these bees so it was a very accurate wash. The ones in the yard, the one I collected the 20% off of was a one minute sh -sh 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 -sh. so why and there's no brood well there is brood in these colonies maybe So there's a little bit of citizen science that you need to take with a grain of salt. And I'm no further ahead than I was when I started. Two days now. Lots of bees out there. Ah, bugger off. I only see one mite. Two mites. Three mites. This was the hive I forgot to treat. It shook 5% or so. I think it was eight mites in that wash, which calculated out to eight mite, or er, about 5%. Oh, shh. Get out of there. Oxalic acid, two days later. Three bloody mites. 
what is going on? How come I can't get any anything to make any sense?